All right, so this lesson is for page one, or sorry, packet one, page 82. What we're going to be doing is subtracting mixed numbers, but these are going to be a little more difficult. All right, and what makes these difficult is when we're subtracting these mixed numbers, right, the numerator of the first fraction in the first mixed number is smaller than the numerator of the second mix, mixed numbers. Uh, numerator. So what we have to do then is what we did in the prior lessons for page 80 and 81, and that is rewrite the first mixed number. Okay, so if you remember what we did, we drop one off four and we say that's going to be the same as three plus one. But when I write one, I'm going to write it as five over five. Okay. Now, I still have to add the one-fifth there. So this becomes, when I rewrite that mixed number, becomes three and five plus one is six over five. Now I can subtract two and three-fifths. So now, all I do, I subtract the whole numbers. Three minus two is one, then I subtract the fractions. 6 minus 3 is 3 over 5. And we are done. The hard part about is rewriting that first mixed number. You don't have to rewrite the second one, just the first one. So we're trying to make this numerator larger than this numerator. So the next one, right? 7 and 3 eighths. Since 3 eighths has a smaller numerator than 5 eighths, we're going to write 7 and 3 eighths as 6 plus, I'm going to make that 8 over 8, plus 3 over 8. So this first mixed number is going to become 6, 8 plus 3 is 11, over 8, minus 5 and 5 eighths. So now, subtract my whole number, 6 minus 5 is 1. 11 eighths minus 5 eighths is 6 eighths. But now, if I look, can 6 over 8 be reduced? Yes, so this becomes 1, and 6 and 8 can both be divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So it's 1 and 3 fourths. Let's take another look. 10 and 1 fourth, right? I'm going to take this. It becomes drop 10 to 9 plus, I have to add 1 as a fraction, so it's going to be take that denominator over itself plus 1 over 4. So now 9, 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4. So remember, and I cannot stress this enough, that you have to understand that this mixed number, when we rewrite it, is equivalent to this mixed number. So now I can go ahead and subtract the 8 and 3 fourths. So 9 minus 8 is 1. 5 minus 3 would give me 2 over 4. Can 2 over 4 be reduced? Yes. Becomes 1 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So it becomes 1 and 1 half. So I want you to pause the video and I want you to come back or, or complete the two you try problems and then come back and check your answer. So the first you try, I'm going to rewrite this as 13 plus 1, which I'm going to write as 7 over 7 plus 3 over 7. So that becomes 13 and 7 plus 3 is 10 sevenths oh, minus, so we have 13 and 10 sevenths minus 10 and 6 sevenths. So now notice my numerator, this numerator is bigger than that, so now I can subtract. 13 minus 10 is 3. 10 minus 6 is 4 out of 7. 
Okay, the last one. I'm going to rewrite 9 as 8. And I'm going to add 1, 5 over 5, and the 2 over 5. So this is basically 8 plus 1 plus 2 fifths, which gives me 8 and 7 fifths minus 5 and 4 fifths. So now 8 minus 5 is 3. 7 minus 4 is 3. So you get 3 and 3 fifths. Okay. Once you know how to do one of these problems, they're all the process for all of them is the same. So if you just focus on the process of one, you're going to do the same thing for each one. Okay. So go ahead and do me a favor. Complete the odds on page 82. Go online, check your answers to those, right? Work backwards if you can't get them, and then go ahead and do the evens once you feel comfortable, okay?